As Ukrainian forces recapture cities and towns abandoned by Russian forces, the toll of the last month is coming to light. Genocide. Due to the Russians' actions on the territory of my country, on Ukrainian territory, the most terrible war crimes since World War II are being committed. Images that have shocked the Western world. Images the Russians claim are fake. Staged by the Ukrainians in what they called yet another hoax by Ukrainian Nazis, accusing Kyiv of trying to derail negotiations to end the war. In recent days, the propaganda machine of the West and Ukraine has been working purely to fuel the hysteria over the video that was filmed, as we understand by the Ukrainian military, by the Secret Service, in the town of Bucha, in the Kiev region. But satellite imagery taken during the month-long Russian occupation of the city tells a different story. After Russian forces withdrew from the Kiev suburb on March 30th, Ukrainian officials found at least 60 bodies in a 45-foot trench dug next to a church in Bucha. Here's the church photographed one day after the Russian forces occupied the city, and again on March 10th, and then again on March 31st. Some of the most graphic images coming from Bucha showed bodies lining the streets. <inaudible> Moscow claims the Ukrainians placed them there after the Russians left. Again, satellite images appear to prove otherwise. Throughout March, bodies can be seen left in the middle of one of Bucha's main streets. The Russian Ministry of Defense and officials even circulated a video alleging one of the bodies lining the streets was moving, claiming further evidence of a hoax. But a closer look at the video shows it's not an arm moving, but rather a distortion from something in the windshield. With Western leaders launching allegations of war crimes at the Russian president and his army, Moscow continues to deny, deny allegations of war crimes, of targeting civilians despite mounting evidence, like this geolocated video seemingly showing the aftermath of drone footage capturing Russian tanks firing on passersby in Bucha. As this war unfolds in the digital age, fact-checkers and the proliferation of open-source intelligence are making it harder and harder for Russian officials to claim that incriminatory images are really a hoax.